Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. When we last left off, we had opened the butterfly box, and I had to do post commentary, which was interesting. Haven't done that for a little while. Um, right, so we can technically get out of here, but before we do, there's a couple of doors here that are actually that we haven't explored. So let's go do that. What's our inventory space like? Not great. Go drop a few items back. And like I said in the previous video, we are going to try and keep videos down to uh, 20 minutes or so. Just at the, at the moment, I just don't have a lot of time for recording, unfortunately. Ooh, she's getting back up. Okay. So, I guess it's kind of random how quickly that one's locked. How quickly the enemies get back up. But as you can see, she wasn't down for very long at all. Which is a bit of a bit of an interesting little problem there. That one's also struggling and writhing around on the floor, which is suboptimal as well. So, mineshaft A access. I need the administrator's key to call this elevator. Well, that's unfortunate, because we don't have one of those. But you know what we do have? We have the key to finally get in here. Which is nice. Okay, I think the controller issues that we had in the last episode are sorted now as well. So, let's go stick in our identification card. And we want to ride all the way up to the top. Let's go. Now, you don't actually have to go to the top here. This is um, a bit of a... How do we... Ah. I think we've got to push that one. There we go. Take the key card back. Yep, that's right, because we can't leave the key card in the elevator. But we can come out here. And like I say, we don't need to come up here, because there's nothing up here apart from our friend there. And a dead replicate as well but there is three shotgun shells here and three shotgun shells uh yeah that's nice you want that it's uh isa ah it's you again i'm glad you're still okay have you found who you're looking for we haven't yet unfortunately i'm looking for someone too my sister if you see her would you tell her i'm looking for her don't worry You'll recognize her when you see her. Hmm, will we? Have you ever wondered if you're speaking to someone for the last time without knowing? I actually wonder that quite a lot. I wish I could go back. I wish I could go back so I could say something else. Yeah, don't worry. This place, it's very strange, isn't it? I wonder what happened here. But it doesn't really matter. Well, kind of does. You don't need to worry about me. I can take care of myself now. I can't keep relying on others. Oh. That's why she left me after all. I'm sure of that now. And she won't talk to us again. So yeah, that little bit of flavor dialogue there, uh, you can miss if you don't come up here. And of course, this elevator is completely balked. We will find out why that elevator is balked in a minute. And it does tie into something kind of dark. So we're going to slot in our old identification card. So let's go down to the next floor. Really creaky old. Oh. Um. 
power interruption. Control system is rebooting. Well, that's bad. Notice, card impounded. Please contact administrator. Well, that's not good. Administration, I need my card back. Don't think they're going to really care. Still, that lands us on this new floor. We can't go through there, can we? It unlocked from the other side. Wonderful. The elevator is out of order. Perfect. Ooh. There's a spicy meatball there, though. I think we should probably take said spicy meatball. Right, what have we got going on? So, we have ourselves a shotgun. The shotgun is quite nice. Pump action shotgun with a collapsible stock fires 18.5 mm Fletcher from a five shell internal magazine. Very nice. Unfortunately for now, this puppy's going away. As well as the shotgun shells. And I suppose now we're at a new area, we'll drop a save. Ah, that's interesting. It's kind of reset our time. And we are going to save under different files. Because <laughs> that way, if my commentary messes up again, we can go back. So what have we got going on in here? Another computer room. A lot of chairs and things stacked up here. Get the feeling this place hasn't been used for an awfully long time. Insert blank card to begin print. All right. Okay, so I guess... Okay, defective. So I guess we need to find ourselves a blank card. Can do. So let's keep exploring for now. We're in some kind of hospital wing now, it would seem. North Corridor. So we need an examination room key. What do we have in here? Hmm. Okay. So we can toggle the image. So we've got an x-ray machine. With a certain amount of items. Inside, we've got a gun. We've got a hand. Looks like a human hand, but might be wrong. We've got a skull, which looks to be a replicant skull because of how angular that brain case looks. What else we got in here? Got a lump of matter with a key locked within. Okay. That one might be useful. And whatever the hell that is. No idea. Okay. I can see various objects laid out under the x-ray apparatus behind the glass. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. What about this door? So this one we can go inside a body bag. I'd rather not open it. Yeah, probably a good idea. Some more shotgun shells. We'll have those puppies. Pop those in your pocket. And we need the incinerator room key. Okay, cool. Now where's that replicant gone? Ah, uh, she's over the other side. It looks like all these replicants are female. At least all the ones we've seen so far, anyway, which is interesting. Alright, well, that's the north corridor clocked out. Um, might want to put these shotgun shells back. Just because... Actually, we'll do one better. We're going to put the shotgun shells back. And we're going to put the ammo back as well. Because we've got 10 rounds on us in the gun. 
That's plenty. We're probably not really going to use it anyway, to be honest. Ah, now this is a room. So we need fire key, earth key, gold key, water key, and air key. So that's the element room. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's nothing we can do with that just yet. And the sword. This is for the sword cave. Sword cave? The sword safe. And that is our key. And I think this changes as well. But luckily, thanks to that one note that we found that um, I didn't find first time round. This should be significantly easier. Right, now there's a replicant in this corridor. Unlocks from the other side. Pump room key required. Might be an idea to drop this one. Three rounds. Come on. There we go. Now, I'm not sure how long she's going to stay dead for, but take the repair spray. Absolutely. And the pump room key. Lovely. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, there seems to be a little bit of randomness to how long enemies stay dead in this game. Which is interesting. Not an awful mechanic. But it's interesting. So we've got a socket wrench. We are rapidly filling up with items, aren't we? You see, this is a problem. Tons and tons of items. And we, we're basically carrying the absolute bare minimum as well. A gun and some health. But, that's okay. And now we've unlocked it. So this will lead back to the item room. I think we're going to go drop some items off. Clear some space. Maybe reload our gun as well. For good measure. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. We're not going to need that for a while. We're about to use that up. We don't want those. Uh, let's grab... Well, we're going to find some more bullets anyway. We will do. Handgun bullets aren't what I would call rare. I mean, they're not exactly growing on trees around here. But they're not rare. So. Pump room. Unlocked from the other side. That's unfortunate. So, this is the first puzzle of our new area. Now, luckily, they actually write this puzzle down for us. So, flood drainage system malfunction. To all medical wing areas, the automatic equalizer pump in the flood drainage system still appears to be broken, causing the lower level to be flooded. Since we're currently focusing repair efforts on the east wing staircase structure, the drainage system pressure has to be manually equalized from the control panel in the pump control room for now. To drain the water, make sure that both the A and B tanks have the same amount of water in them and that the C tank is completely empty. You can see the water levels in the tanks on the control room panel. Press the buttons at the bottom of the panel to move water between the tanks using the air pressure system. It's a bit tricky to get the two tanks equalized this way because you can only move all of the water in a tank at once this way unless the receiving tank is full. With the pumps out of order, only tank A will fill up by itself. Yeah, this, this puzzle, man, this reminds me of the Resident Evil 3 uh, water puzzle, a water sample puzzle, but apparently this was so poor in testing, so the story goes, um, so many game testers hated this puzzle. They actually just write the formula down for it here. Reservoir drainage instructions. With, a, with tank A full, here's how to equalize the reservoir. Fill tank B, then fill tank C with water only from B. Move the water from tank C back to tank A. Fill tank C again with the remaining water from 
tank B. Then refill tank B from tank A again Fill tank C with water only from tank B, and then move it back to tank A. If you made a mistake and get stuck, just fill everything back to tank A and start over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, gee, that's a lot of words. Okay, so luckily, we're going to press the A to B. This, this is where it counts... Um, playing a game first before you record it <laughs> so it's A to B B to C and then C to A uh, C to A then B to C I believe um, B to C then A to B again yes and then B to C and then B is it B to C again? Yeah, B to C and then C to A I think no, C to A yes, there we go <laughs> had to think for a minute there okay still This is why I like to play most games now, before I actually start recording them, because it saves a lot of time. Our friend is still dead there, which is good. Hopefully she's going to stay dead for a while. Now, we can actually jump down here. So what have we got? We've got a water key. Notice we found the water key in a room full of water. Yeah, that's a theme. We got a repair patch that we're definitely going to take. In fact, that was two repair patches. Yeah, quite often these repair patches come in twos or threes. There's a replicant moving around here, which we want to be careful with. That's the door up. And what have we got in this one? Some 10 mil ammo. Lovely. Let's load the gun. And a blank key. Perfect. So we can go right that key. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, I just walked into her and I got... She attacked me. That was kind of anus. She didn't actually hit me. She just... <laughs> we got injured. Examination room key. Wonderful. We actually got hurt just from being in her presence. Gee, thanks. So, what do we want to do here? Um, let's drop the pistol ammo. Drop the blank key. Uh, you know what? Let's just drop everything for now. Grab another disposable stump rod. I don't know how to use these. I've forgotten. Um... In fact, I've never actually used those stun keys. They should. Um, where is it? Somewhere here. All safe records, service request form. Ah, electro impulse device. Due to recent events, all facility staff members are encouraged to familiarise themselves with the use of electro-impulse devices. We've been supplied with a shipment of... Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, single-use, short-range, disposable, non-lethal solution for incapacitating non-cooperative individuals. It can be equipped to the tool slot in the inventory. Yeah. Once equipped, it will be shown in the lower left of the inventory screen. The EIG-2 stun prod can be used with one hand whilst on the move and even whilst aiming another weapon. Once equipped, use right LB when facing a nearby enemy. Good to know. Um, okay, I have no idea what has just connected and disconnected to my computer. 
Right, let's wait for her to bugger off. Ah, she's up there again. Really don't want to kill her. Because it's just a waste of our time at the moment. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Let's see if we can... Nope, we're just going to run into her because, of course... Ah. Definitely going to take the repair patches. And the video cassette. Hey guys. Take the ammo. Now notice... Whilst we're picking stuff up... The enemies don't actually pause. This is a big thing to consider. So, date of filing personal grievance form. Full protector ID of unit filing grievance is AR. <laughs> RR. So, full protector IDs involved units, replica, date of incident, all the time, uh, location of incident, medical wing. Description. Elf keeps using my wrench and misplacing the 10mm socket. I have been reprimanded for not repairing the fan in the vent in the lower level, but I can't remove the vent cover without a 10mm wrench socket. I know she's doing it on purpose. Alright. Now, thing to know here, notice that that's a fan, and there's a key card behind that fan, so we need to remove this uh, whole grill here. Now, if you guess that's the wind key, You'd be right. There's something a little bit strange going on, isn't there? Wind keys in windy places and whatnot. There's 12mm magnum ammo there. Which is pretty nice. Can't go through that. Okay, so our friend has gone down there this time. Anyway, guys. I'm going to leave it there for now. Let's drop off the video cassette. 12 millimeter ammo. The 10 millimeter ammo. Um, I don't know what to do about these. I mean, three item slots isn't a lot. Oof. Maybe we'll keep them on us, I guess, for now. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video there, guys. And when we come back, We've got a water key to find. We need to find the 10mm socket. But we have opened up a new avenue of searching. So, thanks for watching guys. And as always, till next time.